the double muck and it looked like the recast. Yeah, so Vengeful Spear getting the recast. So we'll see how this pans out. This one is a um, a mixed bag. Not a mixed bag. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know what the word I'm looking for is. I'm not really sure about either any of these players. So we'll see how it goes. But we've got a double, double DPS versus a support DPS. Paloma's going to have to work really hard to stay alive here. As you see her, good use of the other side. I don't think you want to trade at all with the igniter, if at all possible. But getting split up with her team, not going to be able to heal real well. Good job not using the fear, but just misses the EX, so doesn't get that self-heal at all. A lot of damage going to be coming out here. Uses the other side. She was going to be able to pressure her, but actually turns back over to uh, Croak. So I'm a little bit surprised by that. Coming back in the middle, again, just missing her EX. The counter's down for Shifu now. This is their opportunity. Can they turn around onto the Shifu and get the kill? Gets the kill though on Igniter. They said, forget it. Hey, we're going to we're gonna go for Ashko. We're not even worried about Shifu. Shifu ends up getting feared away, hits the wolf, comes in, hits the impale though, heals up a little bit, but not enough. And first round I'm gonna go to physics here. I really like that play. Really, really, really good job. Oh, I don't have a bracket command, guys. I'm really sorry. I'm like a super noob. If anybody knows how to set that up, you let me know. And I will gladly try to get that for you. Uh, so first round going to, to Rook, Paper, Scissors. Looking quite well. So no surprise here getting Ceremonial Spear and Poise to Strike. I think those are pretty standard. And then Blaze and Fire Ward. Those are pretty standard. Going uh, big time into the space here. I, if the space, I, I'm always at a, at a, like, man, should you get this, the that space one or not, you know, where you take the less damage. You see him actually putting it on his teammate and letting his teammate be in front a little bit. So this might be good in this matchup. I think it could really work out. But right now he doesn't have it. He's got to be careful. Taking a lot of damage. Gets the end cap into the stun. They end up taking the orb, which is huge. And they also trigger the counter. Uses the flea foot, though. Doesn't get feared. Paloma is in a lot of... Uh, taking a lot of pressure and is in a dangerous situation. Using the other side. Uses the pushback. Does get taken out as the Ashka ult comes out. And they're going to counter back Pomoika. Really good job. Ends up capitalizing on Paloma, not having that self-heal. It is so important to do that. Clarny, what's going on? Hello, hello, my friend. So important to punish that Paloma when she doesn't have that. So those of you who don't know, Paloma doesn't have the ability to self-heal. She has to heal by healing a teammate and getting linked to them. And uh, she can use that with her space. She can heal with her M1. And she can heal with actually her EX abilities, her EX space and her EXQ. And that purple shield that goes around her, it's green when she uses her EX ability. And that is another way for her to heal. And also you can heal with the wolf if you spec into the wolf. But she did not spec into that in this one. So we'll see how, she, how it goes here. As Ashka trying hard to stay out. The counter is down now for Shifu though. This is their opportunity. Will they be able to turn around onto the Shifu or not is the question. Because I think his Fleet Foot's down too. They do trigger his counter though. Oh man, this is going to be big damage. I don't know who it is. Huge damage onto the Paloma. Paloma gets the pushback. Comes back in. Uses the ult but not going to hit. Uses it to heal though. Ashka gets a good ult. And now... Croak is going to have to play super defensive. Good double heal, though, to help protect his team. But there's the final blow onto Croak. Paloma now trying to dance and survive, just missing that Q again. It was just out of range. And that is what's going to be hard right now is with this double uh, DPS composition, Paloma's going to have a really hard time with this, quite honestly. Oh, man, I love those weapons. Sorry as I change it. That is an awesome weapon for Ashka. I haven't seen that. That is super cool. Uh, so that is going to be really hard and she's going to be getting a lot of pressure both of the characters are extremely mobile and so it's going to be very important i think for croak to stick closer to her she he needs to adjust a little bit here as his teammates been getting so much pressure and ferocity actually grabbed so even more pressure could be coming out here from the impale we see the frog frenzy which the toxic blades increase uh, your attack speed and reset your uh, attacks etc we'll see if we'll be able to use that not able to hit the stun but that's okay. Shifu's counter is down now. This is their opportunity to come in really aggressive, especially now that Flea Foot's down. They know he's got nothing. This is their opportunity to trade, but they're going to reposition. I think that ended up going to blue team. Oh, no. It looks like Shifu ended up dropping, and they're just going to continue on to this Ashka. Ashka trying desperately. Okay, there's the, the pause. Let's say, it, yeah, it looked like he dropped there, and they just kept on going to Ashka. Ashka's alting, though. They're going to be able to see this coming. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if they end up... Oh, no, they just resumed right away. Oh, man. Okay, they are going to give them space, though, it looks like. Okay. 
So is there a way to actually pause the game? I think there is. Yeah, there is a way. I won't do it, but if they want to pause, um, I think that would be great. By hitting... So, okay, yeah, so hopefully he'll be able to get back here. I'm not really sure what happened. Oh, man, it's just the enemy team can now decide to forfeit, so they don't even have somebody in here. Hope the issue gets solved soon. I agree, physics. This is unfortunate. But as I was saying, he got the ferocity, which means that he's going to be doing a lot more damage. He has an extra stack. He'll be doing a little bit more healing. He'll be doing a little bit more damage with his impales. Which, um, I think Croak needs to do a little bit better job of sticking with the Paloma. You also see Croak has been saving a lot of his energy for the the ultimate. I think also what needs to happen a little bit... Oh, just misses the double ult as I was saying that. I was going to say what needs to happen is he needs to get his uh, EXQ, the Deceit. Needs to get some Deceits onto one of the enemy and then set up... Uh, some damage and or just let them be crowd controlled so that way Paloma has a little bit more breathing room Good use of the fear there to push him back. There's the ultimate just missing both of them That is gonna be huge for them so much energy use the wolf coming out Gonna fall back as he gets healed from oh no ends up going back in using the firewall He's gonna be vulnerable exq though gets the heal that is gonna be big for him So physics trying to heal back up the final blow going out there onto Ashka, which is good, but Shifu is somebody who could 2v1 in this situation and gets the counter. Will he get the other impale? The other side's going to come out, going to be able to get away, gets healed back up, gets the incapacitate, going to come onto him. So much damage coming out. The great pushback, the spell block into the fear. Is He He ends up going into the health, though, so he gets healed up a little bit. The counter going to come out, not triggered. There's the ultimate using the flea foot, comes back in. Other side, though, to miss, and that is going to be it for Shifu. What a play there by Physics to stay alive. Was getting so close. To getting taken out and ends up coming back what an absolute awesome play there so good job by physics to stay alive unfortunately though we know we had that drop there it'd be interesting to see what happened if the drop didn't go out but so shimmering bond coming out along with the recuperate so they're going to be getting some extra healing on both ends i think that is uh pretty interesting we'll see how that plays out for them as he ends up getting the spear dance and not the heal off his alt i don't know how i feel about that just because they don't have any healing but He's obviously thinking he can get in there and do lots of damage. So Croak trying to come in. Again, I think Croak needs to stick close to his Paloma as much as possible. As they're doing a really good job here. You saw that they both went in on that Shifu when the counter was down. Well, it was being used, but they knew it was going to be down. But it didn't matter. And I'll see Paloma ends up coming away from the Croak there after the other side. But gets the stun. The Wolf just missing. And now Ashka is going to have a great opportunity to put in some huge damage. So the stun comes out, does hit, but the fear was able to give him a little bit of a reprieve. But now Paloma is in super danger. And again, going pretty far away, doesn't allow that heal to hit both players. Gets the EX uh, there to heal a little bit, but Ashka and Shifu do a great job of collapsing. And again, you see Croak over here kind of by himself. They really need to work together, I think, here to get back in unison. Wow, just missed that. I thought for sure he had that invulnerability frame, but he didn't. So they need to do a little bit of a better job, like I said, sticking together. Paloma doesn't have those self-heals, and against this double DPS, it's going to be super disastrous. Good job using the EXQ there. Not able to really set up too much damage again, though, as he's alone. Croak has a little bit of a hard time dealing huge burst damage by himself. But, you know, he he's good with somebody else, but Paloma's not really known for the burst damage, too. I think what they might need to do here, to be honest, is they need to be using Pixie more. Pixie is a really, really strong skill which really spikes paloma's damage if they're able to use pixie they're going to be able to uh and she actually look at that she even grabbed pixie dust i don't think i've seen pixie used once and she has pixie dust i didn't even notice that but you got to start using the pixie on uh, do the in cap and, and then you drop pixie and then stun right as paloma's about to hit them and you're going to get out some serious serious damage on an immobile target with pixie up and with uh, all the attacks from Croak. I really think that's going to be an awesome opportunity for them to do some huge damage onto, onto one of the characters that they're not going to be able to avoid. So we'll see if they're going to be able to incorporate that combo. Like I said, I think it's going to be pretty important for them. Middle Orb going to the red team. So that's going to be a big health swing and energy swing. So many of those Firestorm bolts, all three of them hitting into the Croak though. And the ultimate ends up hitting him. 
Gets the EX spell block to heal up a little bit, but I, this might be a little too little too late to be honest right now. Using the ult to heal up, but again, I don't think it's going to be enough as the conflagration worked right there. Got a couple hits again of those firestorm bolts, just missing the stun. Other side coming out. Again, she's going to have almost no way to heal. She doesn't have the ghost wolf heal right now, which is going to be disastrous. And I'm wondering if maybe she should have gone the ghost wolf heal in a 2v2. I do like that she's using her EXQ a lot to heal. But right now, I think you need an energyless way of continuing to keep yourself up. I think that would be what is really good for her right now. But it's kind of too late, right? You can't go back and change your battle rights. So I, I really think right now what they need to do is they need to play slower. They obviously have the, the ability to heal through a lot more. Croak has been playing very, very aggressive. I think he needs to just keep using his muck to poke. Use the wolf to, to poke. Uh, use the M1s from Paloma to poke and now okay now he's down you got to go on him hard Unfortunately, they stacked their CC wrong there, but Shifu doesn't have the escapes he needs Gets the incapacitate, but it's broken almost immediately red team gets that orb and look at that croak trading with this Ashka it Went really 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 bad the counter should be coming out soon would be my guess Where is it? There's the M2 bolts using the other side That's a great use of the other side there to avoid him taking even extra damage but the ultimate, there's an ultimate on each side. How is Ashka going to get this? If he can get a double ultimate, this might be the end here for Rook, Paper, Scissors, if that's the case. But coming in, gets the block. The stun doesn't hit. Other side used. Now's the opportunity. You see him actually going in really aggressively onto this Croak. There's the ultimate. Does hit Croak. Croak is going to get taken out. And, uh, yeah, unfortunately, I feel like the, the Rook, Paper, Scissors is playing a little bit like they were just trying to out 1v1 each of the opponents on their team instead of really playing like a team and setting up some type of combo setting up any type of damage and a really long range ult there to pick up his other full ult i like that play there but again i think it's just a little too little too late as the stun is going to land and there's the space to get the kill and pomoika going to advance five rounds to two good job here from rook paper scissors physics and unseeker